welcome to this channel and uh, we are going to talk about bikes and it's everything and anything about bikes all right so welcome my name is Ivan Smoduri Marete I'm a, I'm a seller I'm a racer I'm a trainer everything to do with bikes I coach people to take insur insurances, loans, and, all, and that kind of stuff. So welcome to Bed Mobility. It's uh, behind Madaraka, Stradmore, uh, and that's it. So I want to talk about um, Bed Mobility. So I want to know more about Bed Mobility's bikes. That is their cheapest bike. Show me the cheapest bike and why people go for that bike. Well, uh, Bet Mobility has been running since 2019. Uh, the cheapest ever bike that we have ever brought uh, to country that has done very well, it is this Bet Ionos Workhorse 162cc that's going for 139,000 Kenyan shillings. This bike is doing one litre in 60 kilometres. You can get it also in financing. You do a deposit of 14,000, paying 500 shillings a day for one year. It's the best bike for deliveries, for commutes, and also for any other commercial use. So what can this bike do? What does this com bike come with? The bike uh, itself at 139,000 is a very fair price. Uh, you just get the bike. And when you're getting on financing with a deposit of 14,000, you're getting insurance covered and a tracker on the bike. All right. So when I'm buying cash, does it come with a helmet? Um... At 169,000, the bike is, uh, the price is quite fair. Uh, for you to go ahead and get a proper helmet for yourself. So we just sell that bike at 139. Uh, that's just the bike. All right. So what's the beginner bike that Beth Mobility, that's a common Monainchi can afford, and um, it's a beginner bike that they can start with? Well, if you're looking to do border border out there, you deliver Glovo, uh, Bolt, uh, Uber delivery, this will be the best bike to do uh, delivery with. It's the best bike to do border border with. Uh, doing one litre in 60 kilometers, you're actually you're saving a lot. It's the only bike that you have never fixed anything to do with the engine. So I can only always recommend Better Work Cause 162cc is the best, best bike you can ever do uh, with anywhere in the country. It's one of the bikes that we have sold the most to a corporate company called Mogo Credit. That uh, this bike you'll find it mostly in Mombasa and it is driving so well. The next bike will be our Bed Ionos 180cc that goes for 169,000 and you can be able to get it also on financing. You do a deposit of 43,000, paying 500 shillings a day for one year. This is one of the best bikes you can do as a private rider, who you are a photographer, you are a surveyor, you are a teacher, who you need to move from point A to B then this bike can be one of your best bike to commute. It's very comfortable even for a lady can ride, as you can see. Um, but the bike does one litre in 45 kilometers. It has a double head cam shaft. It has a timing chain. Uh, the only thing, this bike is a very sensitive engine. It's very powerful, but you need to do a uh, service for it. But the good thing is when you buy a bike from us, you get two years warranty and two years free service. There's no need to you go look for a mechanic for this bike. We get you covered. We give you all the spare part list of the spare part that uh, this bike uh, cost, and uh, yeah. So, um, is there another color of this bike? Because not everyone will prefer um, orange rims. This bike comes black, uh, orange and black, and uh, green and black as well. So, a green and black one, I'll be able to show you by the end of this video. It looks exactly identical to this. Alright. So, what? Which is our next? Our next bike will be, this will be a 200cc bike. Uh, this is a best 200cc bike going for 198,000 Kenyan shillings. It's one of the best beginner bike for a lady who is into some management that you need to move from point A to B. Uh, you need to do survey, uh, that kind of stuff. This bike will give you 70% usability on off-road and 50% on on-road. So it's one of the best bike you can visit with to go with the sites. And it's super aggressive to do proper off-road. And uh, it's quite powerful to do long distances and back. So it comes red, red and gray, and the other one comes blue in blue. So in, right now in the 
supermarket, which adventure bikes do you have so far? Because I know there are people who love having a, going for adventures and they would prefer an, an adventure bike. Rather. Well, when we talk about adventure, actually what we are talking about right now, this Beth 200 j is one of the the best bike to start adventure with. If you're looking for an adventure bike out there, this is the best bike for an adventure. As you can see, the rear, the front tire and the front mudguard is just made proper for an adventure. You can do an off-road and on-road at the same time. And uh, when it, they have considered when it's muddy and when it's dry at the same time. So this is one of our base bikes to start with. We have a SIM 200 CC that is liquid cooled EFI, the same CC, but a little bit more powerful and more comfortable and a little bit high. We also now have a Zone 310 that is on the other side. We can have a look at them. So this is on test 310, liquid cool, EFI. This bike goes for 950,000 Kenyan shillings. 950,000 Kenyan shillings. We sell this bike uh, in dollars. Uh, so this bike actually goes for $6,600. If you convert it, it comes to almost a million bob. Um, this bike is keyless. This bike is EFI. EFI mean electronic, a full ejector, ejector system. It has an ABS system. That, that means you are, it's anti, it can't lock your brakes. Uh, this bike comes keyless. There's, no, uh, there's nowhere that you will need a key to open. It only sends your key to be able to open your seat, your tank, your, your handlebar, everything, your, your visor, everything on this bike. The bike, uh, again, it has aluminum subframe making it super light. Even if it's a 310cc, the bike can manage to do speeds up to 200 kph, as adventurous it is. You can see the front shocks are put in an aggressive mode of same as a street bike, even though it's, a, it's an adventure bike, so be able, you'll be able to catch up some good speeds. As you can see, even the fairings themselves, they're shaped in such a way you get proper aerodynamics for higher speeds. Uh, on the road for an adventure purpose. Okay, that's amazing. So now, do you guys sell gears and um, how much do gears cost? Most and probably yeah. I can tell you that um, a gear, the best thing you can start with, it depend with the bike that you, you want to ride. Uh, you do maybe probably a gear worth uh, 15,000 uh, for helmets, a gloves around 3,000. And the hand and the jacket maybe around eight thousand. So let me tell you, when you're telling me to do that, is it when I'm setting with a beginner bike or when I'm I'm having a big bike? Because you know, when you tell me I'm gonna buy a helmet worth fifteen thousand or twenty thousand, not everyone can afford that. Well, if you want to ride for long, I'll I will advise you to do at least even if you're beginning, an helmet worth around ten thousand to be safe aside because that helmet you're going to use it for a longer time, a year or so. So if you buy a proper good helmet at the beginning, it, your, it will last longer. So it is about your health. You so you advise, you advise us as people, I'm talking about people, that when once you're coming to buy the bike, you have to put a budget aside for your gears, that is your accessories. I prefer everyone that is looking for a bike right now to start looking for an helmet first. Put an helmet in a home, look at it every day as you look for your bike, and the day that you buy your bike, go pick go pick up the bike with your helmet. With your nice helmet. Buy, buy an helmet and gear just before, before you look for a bike, those two. So you've said a helmet and gloves, and like, those yeah, are the yeah. first thing you Those are the first gloves. You might spend around 18000 but if you want to ride for a long time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, that's amazing. I have not seen, you've not shown us a sports bike, you've not shown us a street bike, because I believe those are the bikes that I've seen you race with. On the other side, we have a CF Moto 250NK and a 300NK. Okay. These are now the, the proper street bike that we have at uh, Bed Mobility, at Bed Bikes. Uh, the one at the back is a 250 uh, CF Moto 2019 model that has been racing since 2019 to this date. So this is the bike that you have been racing with? Yes, specifically I've been racing with this bike since 2019. Now this is the fourth year and in front of them there's a, a presentation of a 300cc and a 250cc. A 300cc with, with Today's rates, 
This bike will be will cost around six hundred and fifty thousand mm -hmm. Kenyan shillings, and a two fifty cc will cost around five hundred fifty five hundred and fifty Kenyan Kenyan shillings. Uh, the three hundred cc comes with ABS already, but the two fifty cc does not come with ABS. Both bikes shares everything else apart from the engine block and the ABS uh, part. Everything else on these bikes, spare parts wise, they share the same. The bike itself does one liter in 30 kilometers, so it's very economical for EFI. It's the best beginner bike. If you're a banker out there, if, you, if uh, you're into, into higher profession, like a lecturer, uh, you're, you're, you're a pilot out there, this is one of the bikes that can give you a grip out there. It will save you a little bit of time and money and in terms of consumption of your fuel, in terms of wear and tear of your car, and also you'll save you so much on your time. Also, it is a proper bike that you can present, can present yourself out there. Okay, so what's the difference between the CF Moto 300K and the CF Moto uh, 215K, apart from the price? Because uh, you've mentioned the engine the capacity, the engine, the 300cc has 50cc uh, more. And the 250cc has a 250cc engine capacity. Is it that the 300k comes with only grey and uh, black? No, no, no. Actually, actually, you can also get a 250k looking like this, and also you can get a 300k also in pure black. So, so you can get any. So meaning the outside look, they are they the same. completely the same. identical. They share everything, including the shocks, the side mirrors, everything that you can see outside. They share apart from the engine parts and the ABS. The rest of the things, the rims, the shocks, the brakes, everything else. If you come for a brake parts for 250 NK, front brake parts and and 300 is the same price, is the same the same parts. Alright, I can see you guys have brought a quad bike. Yes, we have we are the main dealers in East Africa to sell CF Moto so and CF Moto actually uh, their main, their main, uh, their main production actually, and the main selling is a quad bike that is they selling in in uh, America and South America and North America. This is one of the bikes that um, really sells out there. It's called a Sea Force. We had around 20 of them. I think we are in remaining like two units. Two uh, units. Yes. So we have orange and blue, uh, orange and, and a blue one. So this is a CF Force 450, um, 4x4, liquid cooled, semi-automatic, um, differential, um, with a speed limiter. Um, the air filter is quite positioned quite high. All the all the all the fuses are positioned right here, quite high, so that you can be able to cross rivers and short banks. Uh, and also, it has, it has a capability of pulling up to 250 kgs uh, towing capability. So, who's your target audience when you're selling the C4? Because I am sure this cannot be found on the road. If, if you're out there and you're watching this and you're coming from Dika Greens, uh, Modaiga Golf Club, uh, you're coming from some ranch in Nanyuki, uh, uh, Look, Kenya, they have bought these bikes, a couple of them, I think more than 10 of them. Um, we see Moran, uh, they should be looking at such a, such a deal. Uh, there is, a, there is a, this, there's a truck that is, have been built in, in, uh, in Limuru. Those are kind of clients that we consider and look uh, for when we bring these kind of bikes. That's amazing. So is that all, or um, is there anything else that you want to show us? Like I heard that Bet Mobility has a dyno. Yes, we do have a dyno. Maybe we can have a peep with it, a peep on it very fast. Come this way. Actually, we are not supposed to be coming this side, but I will make a very short video for this. So. So we don't get me found here. The place does not look very clean um, or very organized, but 
here is where the magic happens. Here is where all the assembly line happens. The dyno is caught back there. We have a very huge log of 162cc, very many 180ccs and 200ccs, so many of them. So we are trying to reduce the number of 200ccs that, that we have. Uh, and that basically it. So the dyno is back there with my bike uh, on it. The bike is dead, so it, uh, we are not doing is anything. That the That's the sport bike, the CF Moto 300SR. Yes. yes. just have a look so that's a cf moto 300 sr it has a dead head so it needs to be replaced ahead so the place is quite disarranged for today but uh, this is how we work this is this showing job in progress so the last time the last time i I had a check on it, I was opening it up, so we are still working on it. We are still working on it. So this is the famous dyno that we all keep hearing about. Yes, this is the only, actually this is the only dyno in East Africa, uh, in East Africa for motorbikes that can tune up to 300 horsepower. This bike is only like 32 horsepower. So this this by this dyno actually can support up to 300 horsepower. It's the only professional dyno meant for motorcycle in East Africa, as we talk. Unless you guys out there, you have you have seen somebody else with uh, with a computer that manages it, and uh, and it's located here at Bird Mobility, uh, behind Strathmore University. Another thing that I saw, please take me, when I was getting into the mobility, I saw there was like an electric charger or something. So can you explain or elaborate that? We are moving a little bit faster to electricity and also we started with a charge. With yeah. Having dealing with uh, uh, motor, motor vehicles and motorsport, we are also looking into to invest where the, also the government and everyone else is talking about electricity, electricity. So we started by, uh, by first investing on where we can charge them and how we can also be able to sustain as we, be, as we do research on how we can also bring our own uh, electric uh, cars and vehicles and compete with the, with the normal market that we are involved with. So meaning you are going to be charging the electric bikes from here? Or? When, I'm not sure it's from here, but uh, we brought it in. It's still under research. So I'm not sure where the company will actually place it for now. Oh, so it's, a pro it's an ongoing project? It's an ongoing project. So also, um, I'm seeing a Royal Enfield. Yes, we, it right? yes we don't sell the Royal Enfield, but here it is, a, 19, a 1984 Royal Enfield with 8,000 kilometers, with 84,000 kilometers on it. So it is way older than you, like 20 years older than you, mm -hmm. and still looking brand new. We will be preparing the bike for, for, the, uh, for, uh, for okay. Concours de la Gans. Ah, for real? Uh, Concours de la Gans? Yes, so that is in the next like one and a half month. That will be in October. So see you out there. If you guys you have something cleaner than this, We'll be competing with you. Uh, we'll be there. We'll be there to present. Yeah, it's quite quite a good bike. It is. It's it's a vintage bike, but it looks so unique. Yeah. And chic. So guys, up to the next time, we we'll say bye bye and hope you enjoy this episode with Bet Mobility in partnership with Bet Mobility. So have a lovely time out there.